and welcome to another Unity 5 from scratch tutorial. This is the third one in the series. In the previous tutorial we looked at materials and you can see the project that we worked with last time. Today I'm going to continue on with those um, materials because we've only got uh, a little over halfway through this uh, list of properties for materials. So in this tutorial we're going to look at the tiling and the detail mask and also these secondary maps as well. Now you can see uh, this is their ground material that we created previously. So to begin with we're going to look at these um, detail maps. Okay I'll come back to the detail mask a little later. So first of all I'm going to create a new scene and put a wall in there with our ground uh, texture which is bricks so so to create a new scene in Unity, go file new scene now as I said in uh, the first tutorial a game project is made up of many scenes so you can have as many as you like and each one has a different name now I already saved that previous scene if we go into the assets you'll be able to see that scene was called ball materials and um, now that I'm in a new scene, it's called Untitled, which you can see here. If I save this file, uh, save scene, I can then give it a name and let's call it, um, I don't know, wall. Save. Uh, you'll see it pop up here. So you can switch back and forward between the different scenes by now clicking on these two here. Right, so in this wall scene, I'm going to create a wall. And it's going to be a cube again. So here's our basic cube. I'm going to hit R to resize it. Make it into a wall looking object. Then I'm just going to move the camera around a bit. Or I should say the scene view because the camera's not moving with this. So the camera's out here. Uh, if I go to the camera, which I can look at through the game uh, tab you can see it's looking directly at it which is as you would expect because the camera is sitting here. If you want to move the camera so that it's looking at your object or looking at your scene in the same way that you are in this scene view the simplest way is to select the camera and then go game object align with view and I use that a lot and you can see that the scene pops to that camera and oh sorry the camera pops to looking at the scene through the way you are and if we go to the game tab we're also looking at that wall the same way as here and then we can freely move around in here and if I go like that go back to the game you can see it's still looking from the camera's point of view all right so enough about the camera let's get back to our texture here so let's go back to materials where our ground texture was and we're going to duplicate that, so Control D to create a second one. Let's call this wall, because it is actually a wall. Like that, and apply it to the wall by dragging it onto there. And if you have a look at the properties, if we just zoom in a bit closer, you'll see that they're all the same, because it's a duplicate. So we've got our albedo, uh, our metallic turned right down, because it's a brick wall. Uh, the normal map, the height map, and the occlusion. There's no emission, again, because it's a brick wall, so it doesn't emit light. And um, before I go any further, let's just talk about this tiling here. Tiling is how often a texture is tiled across the surface. So at the moment, it's one by one. If I wanted to have this texture twice across this surface, I would, in the X direction, okay, which is horizontally, I could just change this to two and then I will get two bricks of texture in that direction by one in that direction. If we actually dial this right up, you can see in the scene view how that texture is now getting repeated or tiled in the X direction um, 6.77 times across that surface. And we can also do it in the Y direction. So to make the detail of those bricks smaller, you would tile more and more. Okay, but we're going to go back to one. So we just want it one by one for our tiling on that surface. 
The types of textures that will tile nicely are called seamless textures. And if you want to find a whole bunch of seamless textures, you can just Google them using the keyword seamless. Let's just have a quick look at how that works. So in Google, I'm going to type in seamless. And um, what do we look for? We'll look for bricks because that's what we're working with, bricks. And if you go to the images, you'll find a whole bunch of them. Now, seamless texture is a texture that will sit next to itself um, at the side and at the top, and it will repeat and it will match perfectly, like tiles in a kitchen or a bathroom that match. You want them to match when they are tiled across the surface so that you can't see where the seams are, hence the name seamless. Uh, so here's a whole bunch of them, and I'll let you search for seamless textures at um, in your own time. Okay, let's go back to Unity. Okay, what were we doing? So we've talked about tiling. Now we're going to talk about these secondary maps. So the secondary maps are used when you want to add some extra detail over the top of what you've already got. So in this case, we've got a wall. The extra detail that we might want to add would be cracks or maybe lichen across the surface. So I've got some lichen textures that I added previously. And I'll just switch back to texture here. So I've got this lichen texture that you can see here, which is quite pretty. And I also made a normal map to go with that. So it's the um, bump texture for it. And if we go back to our wall material, we can add the lichen as our detailed map and see what you get here you now get this lichen across the entire surface over the top of the other bricks that were already there now this lichen is tiled at 10 by 10 so it actually gives you more detail when you're close in that's what the detail maps are for if you want to make this lichen a lot smaller you could increase your tiling so let's do this 20 by 20 which gives you fine detail of lichen close up and when you're running around in your game world and you're out here you can't really see that but you're getting close to the wall and you can see that it does have more texture. Now to add a little bit more detail we can add our normal map. The normal map will be tiled at the same amount as the uh, detailed map and that gives you some nice close in detail on the wall. Now the last thing you can do, now which we won't be able to see zoomed out, so what I'm going to do is just dial back up this lichen so that we can see it a bit clearer from a distance, uh, is use this detail mask. So a mask allows you to have the texture in some areas and the texture in no other areas. I've got this lichen mask that I created you can't actually see it here um, in this image, but there's a big white circle in the middle. So this is a PNG image with a big white circle in the middle and um, transparency around the rest of it. Okay, and if I drag that onto the detail mask for the wall, let's go back to our wall, grab this and put it as the detail mask. You can immediately see that that transparency and the white area of that image is um, used to mask the lichen on the wall. So there's our area of our mask that would be white and this is the transparent section here. Okay, I've got the mask. Let's just see if I can open that up here in preview and you can see what it looks like. Okay, it's all transparent and it's just that white. and that's where the white is. So anywhere in this image, if I put white and leave the rest transparent, you will get um, your detail map showing through. If we now tile this, let's go back to say, let's say five and five, notice that the mask also gets um, tiled as well. So you have to take that into consideration when you're building a texture. I'm now going to show you how to use a detail mask to put some camouflage um, 
stripes on this guy's head. Uh, we'll look at this model in the next tutorial and um, all about different models that you get from elsewhere and bringing them into Unity. But for now, I just want to show you how to create your own detail mask. So we're going to add uh, some green war paint, I guess, um, onto this guy's face. And what I want to do first is create that detail. And in Photoshop, let's create a new, new file. And I'll make that 512 by 512. And I'm just going to make this green. So let's go pick a green kind of army paint color. Color this all in. And I'll save that. I'm going to put that on my desktop so I can find it. Save it as PNG file and call it paint. Save. All right, and if I just switch back to photo, um, Unity, sorry, and let's go to textures and bring in that paint texture. Let's drag it in. And we will add that into our detail, secondary map on our face material. So let's just drop that there, which will make him green. Now we only want him to be green. Let's say we just want a few stripes of green under his eyes on his cheeks here. The uh, texture for a face is very complex. If you haven't seen one before, I'm about to show you. So let's just open up his albedo or his diffuse texture that is on that face. Here it is here. Okay, textures uh, tend for heads and people tend to look like a flat photocopy of yourself. Um, and this is, this is the guy's head texture and it's wrapped around the model. To make a detail mask from this, uh, first, I'm going to resize it and make it 512, so it's the same size as that green image I made before. And then let's just zoom in on that. Okay, so we want to use this as our um, detail mask. What I'm going to do in Photoshop is, let me just bring this Photoshop window in a bit for you so you can see what's going on. I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to use this layer which has a transparent background as the mask and then we'll get rid of the background later because we don't want this in our detail mask. So we need to use a white color where we want that green to come through and with our paintbrush, let's get a bit smaller sized here. And we're just going to paint in this transparent layer where we want that green to appear. Okay, so we're going to do it under the eyes here. Don't spend too much time being artistic. Like that, that will be our detail mask. And if we turn off the background, all we end up with is this, and that will do. So let me save that uh, as a PNG. So we retain that transparency, and let's call it face... Um, detail mask and switch back to unity bring in that detail mask image and then use that detail mask on our head material and there we go uh, if we just turn it around you can see that it's now applied that over the top and he has uh, some camouflage albeit a little bit dodgy but you get the idea so that you can apply two textures over the top with an actual detail mask to get that effect okay so uh, that's all in this tutorial it's much shorter than the first one but it covers pretty much the rest of what's going on with those uh, materials and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and learnt some new things um, and I'll talk to you in the next tutorial